Hello, Clarion University, and welcome to our new show, See You Weekly. I'm Eric Savinsky. And I'm Brene Hill. Today, we're going to be showing you all the events that happened at the Autumn Leaf Festival 2015. And to kick all of that off, we're going to show you some bits from the kickoff concert that happened on September 25th. This year marked the 62nd annual Autumn Leaf Festival, sponsored by the U.S. Army. Starting off was a performance by local singer Costin Cross, who welcomed local veterans with American flag pin as a thank you for their service to our nation. The veterans also participated in the annual Changing on the Flag when the new U.S. Army re recruits were sworn in at the Clarion Recruiting Office. We then had an amazing performance by the U.S. Army Band, the Volunteers. It was such a spectacular night filled with fireworks, food from Triple R Roadhouse, and great giveaways, plus the new Autumn Leaf Festival merchandise of 2015. The night was such a wonderful kickoff to a memorable week, and the weather did not stop anyone. Wow, what a great performance by the U.S. Army Band. They came all the way to Clarion just to celebrate the Autumn Leaf Festival. Yeah, Brene, it really was a spectacular show. And another really interesting show that happened during ALF was the car show, where antique cars lined up Main Street from 2nd to 8th Avenue. Take a look at it here. The S&T Autorama Cruise In Car Show was a hit once again. Starting at 12 in the afternoon on September 27th, cars were taking over Main Street. Although this is a newer tradition for Autumn Leaf Festival, the participants and spectators prove age doesn't matter. The cars also showed age doesn't matter. The cars range from the 1920s to 2015. Cars showed out and brought the heat for the competition for festival chair choice and the best of show. Being a car show, there were of course winners and these cars were definitely competing. The variety of car brands made the show fantastic. Brands included Chevy, Dodge, and Chrysler, and many more. If these cars didn't catch your eye, there was more to see. Motorcycles from throughout the century took the stage as well. With so many different years, makes, and models, the competition was tight. Congrats to Don Magus for winning the festival chair choice with his 1962 Buick Special. Another big congrats to Chris Hepler for winning Best of Show with his 1956 Chevy two-door wagon. Many car enthusiasts attend this tradition every year. I imagine this will be a tradition that cruises on. Please. 
you think getting dumped by text is harsh, try getting dumped by tennis ball. My ex owner drove me out to the woods, yelled fetch, and by the time I bought the ball back, he was gone. Yeah, I was pissed. But the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. But how about I throw and you run and get it? They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. Emergency plan today. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Those that attended the Native American dancing really enjoyed their experience, and people also enjoyed the art show for Autumn Leaf Festival. Student and teacher work was featured for a unique experience. Take a look at this. From September 27th to October 4th, Clarion County provided a show full of amazing, unique art. This year marks its 57th year of displaying great art at the Main Street Center. The, the space was donated by Area Agency on Aging. Opening reception kicked off the week-long show on September 26th.
The show featured noticed artist Caroline Jocelyn. During the week, people could walk along Main Street grabbing a bite to eat, then walk into a truly interesting gallery filled with the works of many artists who devoted months and years to their craft. People could enjoy the diverse culture it brings to Clary. Now, of course, you can't have arts without the crafts, right, Brene? That's right, Eric. And we continued out with Crafters Day, where hundreds of vendors lined up on Main Street to sell their unique wares. Take a look at it here. Clarion Industries Farmers and Crafters Day was held on October 2nd in downtown Clarion. This event tops off as one of the most popular events at Autumn Leaf Festival. Crafters Day is an event in which crafters pay to sell their products to shoppers. It was one of the first events Autumn Leaf Festival had starting in 1977. If you're a shopper, Crafters Day is for you. With over 300 crafters, there is something for everyone here. Starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, the streets were packed. Families everywhere were ready to shop, rain or shine. Although the nice weather didn't show up for Autumn Leaf Festival, the families still did. Starting on 2nd Avenue and stretching until 8th Avenue, crafters were selling product after product. Homemade crafts and goods are the trademark of this event. Items range from home decor, gifts, and a lot of great homemade food. Crafters can usually anticipate 10,000 people attending Crafters Day, and that was no different this year. Here I have Caitlin Mulligan, who is there, and she would like to talk about her day. Crafters Day is always one of the best days because there's so many interesting vendors, and I love walking down Main Street with my friends. The Clarion students get the day off, so it's a great day to catch up with alumni, eat some good food, and buy some really cool things that you can't get anywhere else. Although the weather was gloomy, the attendance was still magnificent. Whether you were looking for a gift or just looking for homemade food, Crafters Day did not disappoint. One in five children struggles with hunger in America. 
support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. You constantly ignore me. You barely eat anything healthy. You're half as active as you used to be. The pressure is just too much. I quit. OK, I get it. I'll do better. Just please, don't leave. OK, but remember, if I go, you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? Being prepared is a part of who you are, but it's especially important in the case of a disaster. Be informed about possible emergencies in your area. Make a plan that covers where you'll go in an emergency. Build a kit with the things you need to survive. There's no one more capable of planning for your situation than you. Start your plan today. Go to ready.gov slash myplan. Sure, I look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self. And I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. The Farmers and Crafters Day was a very important event to ALF, but maybe the most important thing is actually the celebrated assortment of foods. So what is your favorite, Brene? I have to say my favorite is the deep fried Oreos. Oh man, me too. Really? Well, take a look at that and some of the other delicacies that were offered at the Autumn Leaf Festival here. From day one of Autumn Leaf Festival until the last day, food and games are a standout. You could have told mom and dad not to cook for a week. Ranging from Chinese food to Bucca sliced Vinny's pizza, this festival had it all. A variety of different food could all be found streets away from each other. Food vendors have been making the festival what it is for 30 years. With the weather being so terrible this year, many people took cover in local restaurants. This of course brought them a lot of business. This didn't stop the vendors' progress, however. Many vendors said they were happy with how Autumn Leaf Festival went this year. The games were a hit for everyone, regardless of age. Whether you paid to play or didn't pay at all, everyone walked out with a prize. In some cases, kids went home with pets, fish being one of the prizes. Next year, bring your game and your appetite. We're going to wrap this show up with one of those fan favorite games that we all know from our backyards. A heavily sponsored cornhole tournament was hosted during the Autumn Leaf Festival and it brought a lot of enthusiastic players to the cornhole tables. Check it out. Here in Clarion, we provide such a fun event for the past several years, cornhole. Cornhole has become such a popular pastime in America. The famous Clarion Psychiatry Center held a cornhole tournament on Saturday, September 26th. Each pair had to pay $30, but they had the chance to win up to $500. The event took place in front of the Clarion County Courthouse. 
After a long day of competing, the lucky winners who played very hard for first place were Scott Coates and Mark Miller. In second place was Tom Loftus and Andrew Miller. Taking in third place was Tommy McMurray and Dave Colleen. Then in fourth place was Bernie George and Ricky Tybersky. Congrats to all the competitors who participated in the clarion tradition. Thanks for tuning in to our Autumn Leaf Festival special. You can join us here every Monday at 6.30 for a new episode of CU Weekly where we highlight the university and Clarion community. I'm Eric Savinsky. And I'm Brene Hill. See, See you weekly. weekly. and best friends. I love my sister. My heart, my heart doesn't, doesn't see race. race. Love, love is love. Our family is no less than any other family. You're doing great. Let's just, we're gonna try this again, okay? Okay. Wheels, pedals, handlebar, brakes. Sit up straight, keep your weight in the center, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the grips, button to see. If we feel ourselves falling, what do we do? Just, just keep, keep pedaling. Good girl. Now remember, it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steer into the corners and you stay out of trouble. And the bell's your buddy, so go ahead and ding that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Pedal, honey, pedal. There you go, you're a bike rider. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain.